everybody, I'm back with another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you a few cool ways to remove the background from an image. Removing a background is important, and it's also kind of fun. So let me show you three tools that I use to remove the backgrounds from my images. Let's say, for example, you have a thumbnail that you're creating. Let's choose this one. Okay, and he's a cool placeholder, but you want to put your own image in there instead. So I'm going to delete him, and I want to bring my own image in that I have on my computer. Import. Let's say this one for now. It's got a white background over it. I found it online. I actually created it in Photoshop. But for this tutorial, I saved it with a white background. It would be okay if I had a white canvas, but I don't. So I want to remove this. So. I'm going to hop over to a site called Clipping Magic, and it's super easy. So all you have to do is find the image you want. I happen to have it on my desktop, and I'm going to drag it right on top of this window. And when I first launch this online service, it kind of gives me pointers. It's telling me I can mark the foreground with green and delete the background with red. Now, of course, all of these tools I'm going to show you work best if the background is a solid contrast between the image and the background. So, as it told me to do in the quick tutorial, I have a plus icon, so I'm going to draw a line through what I think I want it to keep. Then I'm going to draw a negative line through what I guess they're going to delete. So all this white area, oh look, I already did it on, on the right. Boom, it's done. So when I click download, it does give me the results but this particular service I have to pay for. It'll cost me four bucks a month, 15 background removals each month. And for me, if you have a lot of these kind of images, this price is a steal because this is a fantastic service. But if you don't wanna pay for a service like this, you can try another website I like called Background Burner. Same tools and it works almost as good. I like this very much and it is free. Let me show you. So again, they asked me to drag and drop an image here. So I'm going to find my Iron Man Laughing Bird image and drag it right on top. And you'll notice immediately it starts to figure out what the background is and what the foreground is, and it erases it. Now this service works beautifully if the background, again, is a high contrast to what the object is. So now it's giving me three separate views. And even though the white is still here, I know that this is now a transparent image. So I'm going to select this one. And here's my final image. I'm going to log in. And I can fill out all this stuff, but I'm just going to log in with my Facebook account. Now I'm simply going to download it. When I roll my mouse over the download, I can download it as a white background JPEG or a transparent background PNG. For the logo creator, and obviously for removing the background, we want the transparent background PNG. So when I click it, I'm going to save the file and it'll go to my default downloads folder. So now back in the logo creator, I don't want this guy anymore. So I'm going to delete it and go under the file menu, import. Here he is. No more background. Beautifully done. Couple little flaws in the free version because I see, you know, things like this and it doesn't quite get the background as nice as the paid version from Clipping Magic. But if you're not too picky, you gotta try Background Burner because it works great. Now they do have some tools that you can use. So I can click the touch up button and I'm gonna show you that in a second when I show you a real image. This one was very easy because again, I have a white background with a really solid contrasting image. What if I wanted to import an image? So let's say I have a whole bunch of family images that I want to put into the logo creator. So here's a good picture of my daughter. Let's see what happens when I bring this into Background Burner. And like the first one, it's going to try and determine the background from the foreground. And this is going to be a little more tricky because this background contains a little bit more detail. So now I see it's, it's giving me what it thinks is perfect. <laughs> So uh, this one obviously works great. So instead of clicking on it and selecting it, I want to touch it up. And it tries to figure out the background. It did a really good job, actually. I want to blow the image up a little bit. And I want to fine tune this. So I'm going to go up here to the advanced button and I'm going to click this paintbrush right here. 
And now I'm simply going to draw where I want the program to keep. Draw what I want the program to keep. And now, there's her head. Okay, not bad. Close enough. The more you play with this and the more time you spend, obviously you can get a pretty perfect image. So I'm going to use this image. It goes to my downloads folder. And now I'm going to go back to the logo creator. I'm going to select another thumbnail. And we don't want her as the placeholder now. She's kind of cool, but we want the lovely daughter. And there she is. Now let's add a drop shadow to her. Boom, there's our new thumbnail image. And it came out almost perfect. Now I could have done a little bit more touch up here, but for this tutorial, you get the idea and it looks pretty good. Now the third tool I wanna to show you gets a little bit more detailed and it's a little bit more advanced, but if you want really fine details, this is the tool you wanna to use. Now if you don't have Photoshop and you don't know Photoshop, this is an awesome tool, sumopaint.com. I use it quite a bit. Never be afraid to only use the Logo Creator. The Logo Creator is a tool in this huge toolbox you should have. Other tools help you do more things. Sumo Paint will help you do things like this. I want to go into the File menu and open an image from my computer. And she comes in nice and big and clear. Now to remove the background with this tool, I'm going to go to this little lasso tool and click it. And you'll notice I have two types of lassos. The first one will allow me to to draw freehand. The second one will allow me to hold the shift key down and, and cut out the image. So I'm going to select this lasso, the polygon lasso tool, and now I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard and I'm going to click and draw right over, right around her head. So I click, 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 and I'm going to do this for another five minutes or so. So I'll pause this and when I'm done, I'll come back. Great, almost done. Now this tool allows me to get pretty finely detailed. And when I'm done, and as soon as the lasso matches up, it outlines her whole body. And now I can simply go into the edit menu and cut her right out of the background. Then I can create a new blank canvas and paste her. Now again, the more time I spend, the better it's gonna look. We're going to simply export her. Now here's one thing to keep in mind. Let me show you something. If I export it just like this, you'll notice there's a white background, and I simply go to the file menu and save it to my computer. So I'm going to name her image one, and I want to make a PNG image, save it, and now back in the logo creator, and we'll bring back my daughter, import, but you'll notice when I bring her back that her white background is there. We don't want that. Because what I did not do in Sumo Paint was remove the layer the background is on. So when I pasted her, here's here's the layer right here. And you can see this little tiny thumbnail. It shows it shows her in the foreground and the background. I want to click on this little eyeball icon and hide the background. Now it's empty. So now I can export, save to my computer. And now back in the logo creator, let's delete this old image and bring the new one back. And now there she is. Ta-da! Well, there you go. Three great tools to remove the background from your images. Clipping Magic, Background Burner, which is really good. And Sumo Paint is like Photoshop, but it's free and you can do all kinds of things with it. There you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.